Well, hey everyone, I guess you know what time it is. It's that time of the month again to um, give out a new giveaway and to draw the lucky winners for the last giveaway. Anyway, what we decided to do, we were talking and I said, you know, or my son made a comment about this Chemex right here. And uh, I said, well, you think people would want one of those in the giveaway? He said, sure. So what we decided to do was to give you a pot like this one right here, okay? Um, to heat up your water in then we've got a coffee maker or I guess you can make any other kind of liquid material in here once you heat the water up and then an outpost cup so that you have something to drink it in so this is what we're going to give away January 2022 and we hope that some lucky winner will appreciate uh, being able to uh, make coffee over the campfire then what we're going to do on the review channel we're going to give away an east wing hammer you know, we've tried to give away tools and recreational items and, um, you know, things that people could use outdoors uh, so that you could, um, you know, add to your equipment uh, or add to your outdoor equipment. Anyway, um, this right here always comes in handy. This is a 20 ounce. Uh, this is what I use most of all. Um, I've used 22 over most of the years, but I decided to go ahead and go with the 20. A little bit lighter, a little bit older. Anyway, this is what we're going to give away on the review channel, so we hope that someone uh, will appreciate that and it will come in handy. Anyway, I'm going to take a couple of drinks of this coffee right here, and then we'll run inside and see who the lucky winners are for the month of December. Okay, guys, I had a whole lot of trouble inside the house. I had to come out here in the kitchen, so I apologize uh, that wind is really blowing. So I've got both channels pulled up out here, and I've got two random pickers pulled up. So let's start with the outpost channel. I'm going to copy this URL. Go over to the random picker, put this in. Now this is for the outpost channel, the main channel. We're going to get all the comments. And then we're going to start the raffle. So it looks like Sam Solfaro, you are the winner for the Outpost Channel for the 7-piece Klein screwdriver set. Now we're going to run over to this channel, copy that URL, run over here to the random picker, put it in there, get all the comments. This is for the Milwaukee Ratchet Screwdriver Set for the review channel. And it looks like Trish Roberts Foster, you are the winner for the review channel. Well, it looks like I can pack this stuff up now since we picked both of those. So, um, Trish, congratulations to you. And what was the name on the other one? Um, Sam, congratulations to you both uh, as winners. We hope that you appreciate those. Uh, gifts and we'll get some long use out of them. So be sure and contact us at smokymountainoutpost at gmail.com uh, Leave us your address and stuff how we can get in touch with you and we will make sure that those companies get those out to you So now let's get back to the video
<laughs> well, guys, um, we got most of everything cleared off. I called the dozer guy a while ago, and he said, that, let's see how much rain we get this week because we're supposed to have a couple of days uh, before he brings his machine up here. But still got a few about this big uh, to cut down, but not a big deal. I did get hauled out what I had cut down the other day. My son-in-law, who's another subscriber from Texas, decided to come up. Um, his name is Kevin. Decided to come up and help out. Appreciate both you guys uh, doing that. Uh, so what do you think about um, the uh, the flat ground, a lot of the flat ground we have around here like Texas, right? Yeah, not even the Walmart's got flat ground. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I had a, another guy from Indiana come down here, and he stayed a week, actually, and helped me out. He said he used to date a girl from this area. And I said, really? He goes, yeah. He goes, um, I said, well, it didn't work out between you two? He goes, no. Um, I guess she had one leg shorter than the other one. Her name was Eileen. Her name was Eileen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, old Jeff. Yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, you guys, if you haven't checked out Redbush Primitives, uh, go check out Jeff's channel. He actually, it's a small channel. He came down here and helped me out last year. Uh, actually, I was working on the compost toilet. No, it was the year before that. I was working on the compost toilet, and he came up here and helped me out. But uh, anyway, what about lumberjacking? It's warm this time of year, un un unusually. Yeah, it, guys, it is like 72 degrees out here again today. Uh, it's supposed to be at 70 tomorrow, too, isn't it? Tomorrow. Yeah, we've had that like all week long, all Christmas week long. Uh, so that's been really nice to have had that. I did get the shredder out, but um, a lot of that cedar, there's so many branches going sideways, it's hard to shove those in there. We'll have to reserve that for more of the, uh, the lanky uh, leaf type uh, trees uh, to be able to get those limbs in there. But um, anyway, don't you, didn't you say that your dad watched this channel? Oh yeah. Yeah, what's his name? Jim. Jim? So we're giving you a shout out if you watch this channel. Um, I know you're still down there in Texas, so we appreciate you uh, stopping by and tuning in. So be sure and watch all the episodes because we got a lot going on up here. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get uh, see them off because they have to get home. And um, I'm going to get back out there and burn some more brush.
reason I'm having to do this is this is not long enough to lay on the two bunks. And I have to have something to secure it with, so that's why I'm doing that.
Well, this one is still wet, but basically the trim that's going around the window is like this. I'm going to have to pop the top one off because what I'm actually going to do is take these, screw them on towards the end, but I'll have to screw them in from the back. And then what I will do is I will install that back up there with the nail gun. Um, then this will give me the ability to slide my rod in and out. Okay? Um, that way the curtains will hang. I'll never have to worry about taking these off. And I will be able to slide the rod out, take the curtains off, wash them, and actually basically be able to put them back up there. So I actually made those um, out of cedar. Y'all be sure to go tell Jennifer that I was putting down any flooring without her. I actually think she likes doing this. do is show you guys um, whatever you cut off here as you're laying it actually becomes the starter for the next row um, but instead of carrying uh, the tape measure because this is the side right here that meets this this upper lip meets this bottom lip so what you do is you can take and turn it around backwards okay where this side is over here shove it up against the wall like so and then what I've been doing is allowing myself about a quarter of an inch. So what I do is I just mark it right at the edge of the plastic lip, like it's right here. Then what I will do is I will take that outside, I'll cut, cut it off. Then when I come back in, um, I turn it back around and it fits. So I'm going to run out there and cut this and I'll show you. All right, so this is the piece that I had right here. I had turned it around, made my mark here. I cut it off, so what I'm gonna do now is turn it back around like it's supposed to fit. And we will slide it in there and lock it in place. trick that I've actually found on this is Jennifer mentioned starting at the joint and that is right here. I bend it up a little bit, shove it over there in the corner and then I kind of beat it down right here to hold it 
and then I work my way back down this way and then I will come back and finish that last. So if there's a gap you just pick up on it a little bit and pound right in the joint and you can actually start lowering it down that locks it sometimes this one will come pop back out but just raise it up a little Now this joint is locked in there. This one pretty much looks like it's locked. It's getting darker. It's locked in there. Okay, this is actually the piece that I cut off. So this becomes the starter, which would turn this way for the new row. Well, hey everyone, we certainly hope that you enjoyed that video. I did get uh, some more of that, those trees cut down, uh, ready for the um, machinery to get over here to start uh, grade work for our new buildings. And he actually came over and I talked to him and he said, depending on, you know, supposed to have a couple of days of rain, he was gonna move a track hoe over here actually. So we'll wait and see what uh, he ends up bringing. But I talked to him about another road going up there to the chicken house too because once um, I get ready to start doing the side of the cabin, you know, uh, putting topsoil and spreading grass and stuff, I said I don't want to have to drive up by the kitchen anymore, so he's going to make me an access road that will actually go down through the hollow and come back up around the driveway. So um, I'm excited about that happening too as well. Anyway, guys, uh, if you're new to this channel, be sure and go check out our other channel, Outpost Review. It's a behind the scenes on what's going on up here. We certainly do appreciate you guys stopping by and visiting with us while we're working on the cabin up here on the homestead. Um, we hope that everyone is going to have a great, spectacular new year as well. That's what we're, our wishes for you guys are. Anyway, we certainly hope that you have a great evening. Everyone take care. We look forward to seeing you back up here at the cabin again next time.